Yeah, yeah, it's Christmas. Yeah, great job, everybody. Oh, it's so wonderful. Yeah, Kanpai. Welcome back to New Sakura Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskel. Bevs something, for everyone. Something bothered me as I booted this up and saw this scene. Everybody's just standing around in a perfect circle. They're just standing around the table. Wouldn't it make a bit more sense to be sitting in them, perhaps? Did they not render sitting? But that wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're running with the adrenaline they got from that show. All of their cutscene animations are basically them standing. Now, I can imagine that having to animate somebody not only moving being difficult, but having to pull out a chair, sit down in it, and then pull themselves in probably takes like a week to do. If you have mocap, it wouldn't take that long. Do you think this is mocapped? It's the only thing that makes sense, really. A lot of things are mocap these days. Hmm, maybe for the basic movements? The thing is, they didn't do what, you know, big budget mocap studios do and actually act out the scenes in the mocap suits. They just have a variety of animations they did in the mocap suit, and they stitch them all together to try and convey emotion. <laughs> right. <laughs> have you ever seen uh, the behind-the-scenes footage for people in mocap suits? Yes. I, I think the the thing that makes me laugh the most is after they're done doing this amazing scene, like heart-wrenching gut-punching scenes and then the, the director calls cut and then they say okay pose and then you see the actors pull a t-pose <laughs> so that the <laughs> developers can use that model well because it's the end of the Christmas special, Anastasia is leaving us. If only Santa could bring me one gift this year, the gift of Anastasia not leaving us. Yeah, the gift of a better game. There is no better game than Soccer Wars 2019, you to Jay. Finals? Yep. Oh. God, I forgot about the games. I thought she was meaning, like, school, and I got so lost. Nope. The final round of the combat review games is tomorrow. We all gotta be in our best... best shape, even though we'll be down a member. Are members allowed to bow out like this? I guess. It's like, hey, I don't really feel like it, Chief. Peace. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. Uh, hilarity is about to ensue? I can actually see, going back to the mocap conversation, <laughs> they had to fully render an ass for this one scene. <laughs> Hold on, we need to put the little probes on the backside. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, model that butt. Actually, is, is that a fact? Hold on, I, I want to look something up because I heard it and I couldn't believe it. Shouldn't Kamiyama just say, you know, I'm in here! 
Occupied! Seriously, it's not that hard, Kamiyama. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Just as long as you choose one before time runs out. Wouldn't they get suspicious at one point? You'd think so. Like, oh hey, Peanut is here. Why is he here? That's exactly what they do. Okay, there it is. There are more polygons in 2B uh, in her ass than there are in the entirety of Ocarina of Time. Seriously? <laughs> and according to this Reddit post, somebody said, that's not true. I actually did the numbers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> damn. So, I, I know I don't have a lot of women viewers, but if you go into a locker room or you go into, you know, a shower room, something like that, do, do you just immediately slam your face into a girl's tits and go, Oh, wow, your skin's so pretty! And start fondling each other's boobs? I, 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 I can't think that happens. That is definitely an anime thing. I mean, when I go into a locker room, I don't, you know, strip naked and go, Hey, whoa, Nesco, that's a pretty big cock you got there. <laughs> Them some nice squishy nuts you got there, UDJ. Whoa! <laughs> Have they gotten bigger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I accidentally kicked myself in the nuts, and look, it made them bigger. Your shaft got longer? Damn! <laughs> so bad. Do they have locks on these doors? Oh, well, that was harrowing. Huh? Huh? Azami is a bit suspicious about something. Hmm. Lightning. There's a storm a brewing. Maybe she's a moth and she responds to light. I don't know. I don't know, whoever shined the light! The paparazzi. <laughs> I thought she was about to say, what friends? She only has Secret us. friends who don't want you to know that they're friends with you, so she's probably the spy! What kind of friends would you not want your other friends to know about? Wait. I don't think that was a proper sentence, and forget it. I got I got some KGB friends I don't want you to know about. Oh. Uh-oh. Are they actually friends, or are they, uh... Uh, let's just say, uh, talk and you don't talk anymore. They don't have a lot of friends. Who are friends? Okay. Well, it's probably nothing. Oh, back so soon? Mm -hmm. Making a phone call? We have Steam cell phones! Show me where that cell phone is and then I'll believe you. Don't you walk away from me! I am your commanding officer, don't you walk away from me! <sighs> what a uh, long night. Morning. <sighs> Sun is bright as ever. Need to have some coffee and put on my sunglasses for this day. Fifteen feet away from the earth. <laughs> 
Everyone's melting! Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Early morning to betray your friends. Oh. Oh no, Ragey. No! And then a fire engine comes bursting through the wall. Oh my god, is he okay? Is he okay? I don't He's been shot, Kamiyama. He got shot in the gut. So, like, were there witnesses for this shooting, or...? Well, we have cameras. Oh. And she hopped into Mugen and fucked off. What? But I trusted her so much. And Anastasia stole her sword as well. Well, now it's personal. Oh no. Somebody changed Anastasia's picture on the wall here. She now has a snidely whiplash mustache. So you're telling me the mysterious woman that we hired just out of the blue for no reason turned out to be nefarious? Well, I mean, she seemed pretty up and up until she wasn't. <laughs> I love that look she gave you. Are you daft? Hey, could you pretty please not betray us anymore? I'll give you a cookie. I'll give you two cookies. I'll even add some milk. With one of those chocolate straws you like. How about a little strawberry Nesquik? You know you like it. Damn it, she didn't bite. Wow, so this is our fighting portion of the chapter, is it? So now we face a dilemma. We have to go after Ana we have to go after Anastasia because she stole Sakura's sword. <laughs> but the final round is going to start any any time now. Are we going to have enough time to go after Anastasia and go to the final review? So I'm thinking let's split into two groups. You three can go on and, f and take care of the finals, and me and somebody else, preferably the girl who I choose to come with me, will go take care of Anastasia. But, nope! That's not what we do! The correct answer is to say, okay, everybody, go after Anastasia, and we'll abandon the games and we'll be disbanded as a result. Nullifying all the progress that we've made up until this point. See, that would have been the perfect place for a, like, plot divergence. But, no. Especially We're all gonna go on a trip, guys! All of us are gonna go kick Anastasia's ass! And then head straight to the finals, because we need to make the Germans pay. No, no, she, she betrayed us. Let's not mince words. She totally betrayed us. But UDJ, by the power of friendship, we can forgive her. Eh, maybe. Oh god, now we have to actually go to the games. Where everybody's just like, chilling and waiting. Oh great. They have mind control masks on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait! What? Yeah, earlier they got attacked. They were confronted by an unknown assailant, and now oh, they have these masks that are totally mind control masks. Right! Wow, so we're gonna kick their ass under the influence of evil! Where's our third member? Just chilling in the, in the cockpit? 
We'll see, he's the lazy bones of the combat review. By the way, it's definitely a guy in there. You know, he's just chilling, reading a magazine. He's not even mind controlled, but, you know, he's running with it. He's the guy who's most German. You know, he has a lederhosen, you know, yeah. striking blonde hair, drinking like, a stein of beer with some worst. He's just a traditionalist. Like, he enjoys what people consider stereotypes. We're gonna render them doing this stuff. Why are they not talking? Do you think his hair ever catches fire? I hope it does. Like, he almost looks like a long wick of TNT just ready to blow. So, uh, I've got some news for you, and I was gonna save it until a bit later, just in case something was, uh, going to happen, and, you know, the gameplay, or the game itself got a little stale. So, uh, I watched a little bit of the Soccer Wars anime. Uh-huh. And I realized I had to stop watching the Soccer Wars anime. Be mm -hmm. Because it's a sequel. Yeah. I did not know that. And no, you get you get to watch the stage play now. Uh-huh. So uh I'm I'm watching this first before I delve deeper into the anime. I could have sworn it was just a retelling of the game in anime form, but no. Uh, um how much you want to bet it's going to end with uh Sakura and Seijiro getting married or some shit. Well, I'll I'll save that detail until, uh, you know, I actually dive in more, but, uh... <laughs> spoiler alert! Elise becomes a part of the combat review! Imagine that! Oh, great. Okay. And that was about the only reason I knew that it was a sequel. Because, uh, the Berlin, the Berlin combat review was added to our group. Oh, come on. Oops. Well, now you know we don't kill her, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that happened within the first, like, five minutes or so. And three of those minutes were the opening, like, music video, which uses the same music from this game, so it was, it was nice. This is the, oh, you were a spy and we trusted you. All the times we had together, all the kisses we shared, and those tender moments. Was it all for naught? <laughs> you sound like you're dying. Wait a minute, did she just YOLO? Y yeah, you are played us from the start. <laughs> you already know she lied to you. Why would you bring it up again? It's it's like they can't tell that she betrayed them. None, none of them can just identify with the fact that Anastasia betrayed them and now she's a bad guy. Well, when you've had a friend for this long and they backstab you, it's just like, what? And it's like, I betrayed you. What? And I saw the sword. What? What? And I'm also working with the demons. What? what? And I'm gonna make a dark realm. What? And I'm bringing you with me. Who? What? Oh, right. We're fighting. Yeah, it's battle time. It's it's battle time. We have no choice but to work with Sakura this time. I mean. Had we sent the other three off to play in the games, we wouldn't have to worry about missing the games. The game just assumed I wanted to play, as so play with Sakura, but whatever. Well, don't you know? She's the best. I mean, if you go back and look at your rankings from about a minute ago, you'll see that everyone's exactly the same. 
Ain't that the truth of it, though? Maybe there's a special algorithm in the, you know, the friendship module here. You know, if points equal same, add one to Sakura or something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a never-ending lineup of Sakura being always one point ahead of every other girl. So I gotta color ugly every couple of days to balance it out. <laughs> I could just see the guy, the mathematician, putting together these algorithms where his director said, okay, Sakura is going to be the main squeeze and she gets like double the points of every other girl. It's like, well, sir, what happens if they insult her on a daily basis? Like, what do we do then? And he's like, well, create a new algorithm, man. I don't know. It's, it's like, oh, Seijiro, that was actually real sweet of you to say that. Aw, oh, thanks, Hatsuho. Oh, crap. Sakura, you're fat! <laughs> There's a timer on his watch <laughs> that goes off every five minutes. It's like, hey, yo, Sakura, you look like a dog. Okay, what were we saying, Hatsuho? I'm so sorry. I kind of enjoy the angle of the insult timer. Maybe that should be an aspect of every dating sim game. Like, if you want to be a 100% asshole. Yeah, it's, it's just a... He's just a talking over with Sakura about what to do for the day. It's like, all right, uh, gotta make sure that the that the floor is a vacuum for the show for tonight. Uh, we need to make sure that the that the upper uh, atrium floor is waxed as well. Uh, I, need, I need the windows clean. Make sure we, we hired those guys earlier. And uh, uh, by the way, you're a fat skank. Uh, uh, next, we need to make sure that uh, the, the parts are ready for tonight. Like he's going on his morning checklist. He's like, "All right, so I just woke up. Let me let me grab some coffee, maybe a couple slices of toast, and uh, oh yeah, insult Sakura a couple times before lunch." He wakes up. It's like, "Oh crap, I'm late." Coward, what time is it? Uh, it's six fifteen. <laughs> Shit, I'm late. Sakura, I hate you, you baboon. So. <laughs> And then every time he misses one, he has to, like, double down on the next one. He's like, Sakura, if there, if you and I were the only two people on the planet, I would shoot myself. <laughs> they get progressively worse as the day goes on and he keeps forgetting, like, the timer broke. So for this portion, Anastasia is going to be actively shooting at us. But how could she do this to us? Pretty easy enough to avoid if you go fast enough. Well, I'm just realizing this moment in time. Good luck, YouTube compression. <laughs> so I think I just heard Sakura like eat shit in the background. Is she like somehow dying. Yeah, she's not doing good back there. <laughs> AI can't handle complex uh, platforming, especially when the path that they need to take is right in the way of Anastasia's bullets. If pathway, go forward. If obstacle, run into it. <laughs> hey Sakura, you're an algorithmic failure. Okay, that was my insult for the for the uh, next five minutes. Now uh, let's see where we are in the schedule. But because you know. Uh, her multiplier for points is so high, any kind of compliment you give her will be like an entire year's worth of compliments. Damn it! Like, how, how could you be so mean, Sanjiro? You always say the, the worst, most terrible thing to me every day, and, and you go, your hair's cute. Oh my god, we're meant to be, Sanjiro! Marry me! Starts dry humping your leg. <laughs> oh, okay. stop! Okay, get, you, get, you, get, get, you, get. you need to stop. You need to stop, horn dog. Your morale going up is like the kiss of death, especially if you want any other girl. It's like, no! Sumire, Stop with the morale! Can we, pl can we please have some ordinances about interpersonal relationships in the workplace? <laughs> I would like to think that, you know, soccer is the type of girl where any form of positivity is seen as, like, extremely romantic. Like, 
Seijiro saves her half of a breadstick when they show up at Olive Garden. And she's just like, oh, you shouldn't have. And then the points just start multiplying by the tens. You hold the door open for her and it's like, oh my god, Seijiro, can it be that you really truly feel that way about me? And she just covers her, oh my god, can you just... You don't even have to hold the door. You just kind of like kick it open. It's like, yeah, you were going inside and you you know how you just like prop it open and let gravity take hold and it slowly closes on its own and she manages to slip through. Sejira, what time is it? Uh, about 2.30. Oh my goodness! Jeez, oh, come on. Or maybe she's interested in kind of like the backhanded things, like you didn't peep on her in the bathroom today, so she's like, oh, he must think I'm amazing. So now things are about to get really, really hammy. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I figured we'd get a little bit of ham with the actress's arc. No, we had like some ham slices earlier, which turned into ham sandwiches. Now we're just having the whole fucking hog. So Check out this line. This, this line that Sakura says here. Okay. What? This one. She's gonna address her directly here. Mm -hmm. Might be a bit later, but it's it's really dumb. Uh, I'll be waiting for it. I think they expected me to go that alternate path, but, you know, I'm fine! Ah, <laughs> oh, well... No, don't knock it over! Don't knock it over! Ugh. Idiot! Hey, Sakura, you didn't totally suck today. Oh my god, Seijiro, finally! You're seeing how I am... You're seeing how good I am. No! Ah! <laughs> I should have mentioned there's a trophy for falling 30 times. There is? Yeah. Okay, I always love the anti-skill trophies. It's like, come on, these things are heavy or something. <laughs> That's great. You see me fight? I'm badass, I'll take you down. I'd rather die than have you be evil. Mm, okay. Well, there she goes. Ah, uh, enemies! She's still shooting at us. Do you think in uh, Soccer War 7 there'll be the ability to romance one of the robots you find on the battlefield? Be more human than these ladies. Like, they have the extreme cold heart. But, you know, you can eventually have them open their soul to you, and you can talk to them more regularly. It's like, hey, bot, how you doing? I can program them to, uh, <laughs> to have the personality of another Soccer Wars girl. Okay, that would actually be awesome. You can choose a personality based on past Soccer Wars characters. Imagine the possibilities. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. They're all having their, their big argument. I'm just trying to kill this guy to get this over with. Well, shit. Uh. That was the enemy being destroyed. That was the experience points getting put into my character. And that was him saying he's ready for his special attack. <laughs> Ah, big bot. Ah. Well, that looks cool. Big. Why doesn't mine look like that? What a god breaker! breaker? Holy fuck, that's a good name. Why does it have to have such a moe voice? Because it's Yaksha. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Well, why does she have to pilot Godbreaker? I don't know, I want it! Give it to me! Can I romance Yaksha?
Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes. Way even more ultra and lots of enemies now. Cool, where's the room clearing attack? It's called basic combos. Damn it, I was hoping, you know, there would be a, a character moment where we're all like, Oh my god, the power of friendship, ah, room clearing mode! Nah, it's just to up your morale and up your points to make sure you get over the S rank later. You know, I'll be honest, I would probably play this before I play a regular Dynasty Warriors game. And that's all sad. Yeah. I mean, between Age of Calamity and Persona 5 Strikers, you got two spin-off games that they did that are really good. You got Samurai Warriors 5 coming out later. You got Dynasty Warriors 9, 8 that you can play. I'm trying to think. There was one Warriors game that I was extremely excited for, and then, of course, the Metacritic scores came out and it was terrible. But I think it's like... Dynasty Warriors All-Stars or something like that, where it uses other uh, Team Ninja and uh, Tecmo Koei properties in Muso style. Hmm. I think it's got, like, Kasumi from Dead or Alive. I think uh, Momiji from Ninja Gaiden. Oh, that's fun. Yeah! I was like, oh, damn! Th this is kind of the crossover I wanted, honestly. <laughs> Shouldn't let Metacritic scores uh, hamper your purchasing decisions. If it sounds cool, buy it! You know what? You're right. Use me all you want, honey. <laughs> Maybe you should save that monologue for when we're actually killing one another. Gas. No, oh, we have to fight Godbreaker? Yep. Sweet. She just said she was Yaksha. Fucking kill him! What do you guys think? All aircraft report. Wow, that's all they needed? I guess. We're, we're supposed to attack Yaksha, not Anastasia. Well, if she gets in my way, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Just something about the imagery of, you know, all this the important drama happening in the foreground, and then in the background I just hear Sakura eating shit. <laughs> Where'd she go? Fuck. Okay. Is, is it just me, or does this look like kind of a fun fight? It's all, it's, it's all right. Oh, because you got gunfire coming from Anastasia. You got Yaksha, who's doing, like, incredible attacks that are just... It's ruining the entire arena. Well, it's time for the team attack for Sakura. We're going to school. They have an entire drama anime made about them. That's their team attack. Oh my god. A better love story than Clannad. You take that back. <laughs> oh, the best way to get a reaction out of you. This is all the serotonin seinen I need. 
Wow, get got, Yaksha. God, you don't stand a chance. Nah, no. It's sad the game doesn't recognize my my strength. It always has to tear me down at every angle. Like, oh, we're still not strong enough. Oh, the enemies are still way stronger. And oh, they still insult us like we're, like we're a bunch of baby cakes or something. Mmm, baby cakes. Holy crap, you're at a... a 10 gauge. Yeah, use that stuff. Oh yeah, max, uh, morale. BAM! Holy Get shit! fucked! <laughs> that was cool! Oh, what? but we're so weak now! Oh, I can't oh, move! Oh, uh, <laughs> on! You can't even give us that? You know what I would have liked? Uh huh? Cross combat between mech combat and out of the mech combat. That'd be cool! Like a Star Fox Assault type deal. Yeah! I will fight you. Uh, you mean the sword I have right now? I think she means the mech suits. I said that's the only way we can fight. Despite the fact that I have two swords! Yeah! And now she has the key. Oh my god, Sakura was a Keyblade Master! I knew it! She's now gonna open Shadow Tokyo. <laughs> oh my god! It is now time to open Kingdom Hearts. Thank you, Donald. And Yaksha betrays her. Correct! What the fuck did you think would happen, you idiot? Well, no shit she lied. She's a villain. Those huge boobs did nothing to stop the, the, the blood of the blade. Yaksha, pop those airbags. No, uh -uh. I shall create all the heartless I need with an army of nobodies. We shall rule all the Disney kingdoms. Usually I love scenes like this, but this is... Gonna, yeah... <laughs> Oh no, she's dead. If only I went with her route instead. It should have been us on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Wait, that's it? That's it. <laughs> How do you think we did? S S A S S S S A S. Wow. Okay. So, uh, you know, have a little heartbreak, and then, hey, good job. You got an S rank. What do you think G stands for? Uh, President Greatness. Gnocchi. President Gumbo. Gratuitous. Gayakutan Saiban. Ginkgo. Gibbs. Green. Greasy. Gratin. Growth spurt. Greg. Good villain. Gush. Good bad guy. Great. 
Oh, it's games. Here is his uh, heel turn. Whoa, my God. Are you telling me President G was President B for bad guy? G for gatekeeper. <gasps> oh. Gozer. <laughs> and now Shadow Tokyo is here! An upside down uh, Shin Megami Tensai level of a world! <laughs> oh no! Tartarus! I don't like it! So wait, how come Sakura didn't accidentally unleash this when she like slashed her sword? Because she's stupid. <laughs> oh, President Globface. President Godface. Actually, G stands for Genon. What does that mean? It means bad guy. So next time oh, on really? Soccer Wars. Oh, come on. Sheer despair befalls us all. And a dark truth is learned about the Imperial Sword. Okay, uh, so does that mean we've reached a point of no return? Not yet. But the point of no return will be in this chapter. Oh, okay. Wow, incredible, I know. Now, if they really wanted to up the ante, they would show Anastasia dead here, but nope, she's just fine. If anything, she's just as fun as everybody else is. Hmm. Okay. Well, see you next time on <laughs> Soccer Wars. <laughs> I guess the world's ending next time, okay. Yep, and everything's over, and we're gonna have new costumes as well, so... Oh, that's good. Neato. See you next time.